So as someone who likes to say banana in different ways, banana, 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 mm -hmm. there has been a banana uh, stuff going on in Steam, and we're going to talk about that next, shall we? The best moments of a certain screen, I don't see. Nah, I, ha I have my own laughs, don't you worry. <laughs> see, so let's watch something about bananas and go bananas. <gasps> This is an imaginary opening theme song, theme song, oh. Yeah, banana, 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 mm -hmm, indeed. But someone is trying to use the, you know, sacredity of banana to be, do evil stuff, apparently. So now we're going to watch what evil has people do with bananas hello there no. ladies and gentlemen today i'm going yes, to talk it is about banana now if you haven't heard of banana don't worry it's totally normal not to have ever heard about a game that is currently the fifth highest played game on steam at this moment in time yes mm -hmm. that's right 150,000 people are currently playing banana but how come you've never heard of this game after all mm -hmm. it released back in april to only 16 yeah. people to be fair, I did notice this game on Steam myself because uh, of its tags. Like, some of its tags is psychological horror and horror. So since I sometimes play horror games, it's, like, popped up while I was scrolling to look at games. Like, I've seen this game before I ever watched this video. So just, you know, I did see it. I never attempted to play it. I just clicked on it saying, okay, what if about this is horror because it's just like clicking a banana let's say what is the horror in that but the true horror is something much much worse people playing it my oh my has it come a long way but what is this game and why are hundreds of thousands of people playing it it's mm -hmm. quite simply a free-to-play game where you click a you banana in banana you click the banana. banana to gain even more bananas it really is as simple as that and yet yeah, with this bananas. simple gameplay loop it has achieved a 91 percent positive review score on steam this is incredibly high this mm -hmm. is such a high rating that it's actually a higher percentage than grand theft auto 5. so why is this game about clicking a banana so darn incredible that it's yeah by the way uh this video was posted uh, like 11 days ago by the time we we're recording this and like the very positives have still are still there like i'll put a screenshot later on when i edit this but yeah like the also the numbers have gone up like a lot like it's twenty three thousand or something like that right now captured the hearts and That's imaginations bananas. of 150,000 people. Is it actually a hidden gem? Is it a dodgy scam? Or is there something even more dubious at work? Well, ladies and gentlemen, well. sit back, relax, throw a like on the video and get yourself a warm cup of tea. It's because this is indeed. going to be very special. The game Banana is absolutely incredible. It has one achievement called Click, which 83% of people have. In order to gain this achievement, all you have to do is launch the game, which launches like so. Of course, it's mm -hmm. made with Unity. Everyone's favorite. Also, why is it just 83% of people? I wonder if people just like looked at the game, installed the game, opened the game, and then said, nah, I ain't clicking on this. What is this? And then just closed it, and then they never got their achievement. <laughs> is that what happens? Because that's bananas. Favorite free game software, and then once it's launched, you can quite simply click the banana, and just like that, you have yourself a banana. Now, I have an auto clicker, so I can click this quite a lot, and I end up with oh my goodness, have you seen that? 100 bananas, truly amazing. Now, this game banana does have a few additionals. I can press this button. I mean, they don't need to eat the pudding, they need to, you know, click the banana. <laughs> <laughs> here called shop and this opens up a shop in this shop i can buy wow. banana items shop open Incredible. shop though uh, this money goes directly to the developer of this game who we should probably talk about whilst i click on this banana this game is created by aladdin 66 aladdin 66 has made two games one of which mm -hmm. is called las ishlida i'm surprised he didn't name himself 69 though you now know? if you haven't hey. played this game don't worry it's absolutely incredible also achieving an 88 but maybe he chose the number 66 because he didn't want to be too obvious that, you know, he's up to no good and do another six. And then he just went on like, okay, no one will ever suspect me if I only have two sixes instead of three sixes, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Who knows? 
100% positive review score. This game was released back in February and it features grounds and Unity assets that you can probably find for free. On oh, this wow. game, you Unity. embark on oh, an extraordinary yeah. journey into the boundless Unifying realm of Lasse Schlieden, an open world game that promises to redefine the genre. Yeah, missing number couldn't be evil, not only exactly. An expansive universe, but it's also brimming with endless possibilities and exhilarating quests. Now that's a good sales pitch. This guy should work for Bethesda. But the special thing about this game <laughs> is, yes, it is using stock assets. Yes, oh, yes it looks like it was whipped well. up in about 20 minutes. But what it does have is a lot of effort and dedication. And that effort and dedication went into the 100 achievements that this game has. All of these achievements are incredibly easy to get. Pressing the B key will award you with four separate achievements. Now that's pretty incredible, isn't it? Wow, four separate achievements for pressing one B key. Like, that is impressive indeed. It's it's also press nine, you get four achievements. Press seven, you get four achievements. Press, oh yeah. There's a lot of four achievements to So the yes, game. people can buy this game for 89p and get hundreds of achievements very easily mm -hmm. flooded onto their account to make you look like and a pro gamer on Steam. And people do care about achievements. That's definitely on one Steam. way to some, sell a game, them, but not it doesn't everyone, make much some. money. Not until you see that you can sell items for this game. That's right, you can buy this thing that I'm sure he has the legal rights to and all of these Surely. other things that I'm sure he has the legal rights to. Surely. Like the incredible When You Start Edging, which you can buy for 79p. Once bought, you can sell it on the community market for mm -hmm. i mean you know all my bros want that one <laughs> indeed indeed or 85 uh, but no Let's one sold it uh. one of these bad boys uh, nope, no one has ever purchased one of these in the entire history of Steam. Okay, well, evidently Lasse Schlieden oh, well. didn't do quite so well. But Banana has done incredibly well, which you can buy for 20p and you can sell on the community market, starting at 26p. How very curious. I find this whole situation hmm. rather interesting. Why is this item that I can buy for just 19p on Steam selling on the community market for 26p? I mean, look, it is actually getting sold. Not very often. Often, but it yeah. is getting sold. I can that buy it right now and difference. sell it for 23p. This is ever so slightly madness. But Banana Mania is here madness to stay. To because as you might have noticed, this entire game... But maybe bananas are madness themselves. Da, 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 da. Nah, I'm just kidding. Bananas are innocent. The one who has... Who is using the banana as evil is the true perpetrator. Da, da, da game exists for one sole purpose and that is making money you of see course. on steam when an item is bought and Let's sold on the marketplace money. or an item is bought Let's directly for money. the game the game's developer makes that money in our case the mm -hmm. wonderful aladdin 66 a visionary game designer who promises to provide more than any other game developer ever has bonus trees but the main effort wow. of this game did not go into its incredible gameplay loop because it's already perfect. There's a banana and you click on it and a number yeah. goes up. Truly amazing. Yeah. No, no, the effort of this game actually went Perfection to the most in important the section, the Steam Marketplace. And you'll be able to find everything. The banana market is immense. There are nearly eight full pages of deep banana lore. Some of things are definitely slightly legally dubious, but the idea is very Me. simple. As you play the game, Steam has an automatic drop system, similar to like when you play CSGO. You know, will, will dubious really stop you from checking something out though, right? Like, let, let's be honest here. Some people really go for the dubious stuff, you know, they want to know what's dubious or not. After a couple matches, you get yourself a Just free like trade, CSGO. maybe a very cheap skin. This item for real, drops for in real. game, and it is the most common item. It drops Never. so often, in fact, that there are over 700,000 bananas currently listed on the Steam Marketplace. This is insane. But above the regular banana comes some slightly more advanced... Mm -hmm. I mean, we, who did it better, CSGO or banana? Who knows? They're the same game, right? <laughs> Sheesh, imagine CSGO was actually banana, and then... Like, every time you see someone getting uh, mad, you just see them, like, getting mad at a banana. Like, they're just screaming at a banana on the screen, and you're like, oh, why is this guy going absolutely bananas for a banana, screaming at a banana on the screen? But who knows? Bananas, bananas. CSGO filled their empty time with toxic gameplay. This is banana. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. Just imagine someone going bananas for bananas, like, ah, bananas, why, what have you done for, uh, to me, bananas, wah, and all that. <laughs> it's bananas, like the icy nana. 
the IC Nana is special because it doesn't drop anymore. Wow. So wow. logically, by it not dropping anymore, that actually increases the value of the product because there's scarcity. However, no one has managed to sell an icy banana for more than three pence on the Steam market, which is very curious indeed. Mm. It also raises the question, why are people buying the bananas? And they the just couldn't is find the simple. right frosty now, people Now, the following concept you. might sound rather confusing to anyone who has a brain cell, but the reason people are buying these bananas is called FOMO. Basically, all of the items mm -hmm. in this game are pure market speculation. The idea is that these bananas have varying levels of rarity, and the rarer a banana is, the less likely it is to be added into the supply and items that aren't very often added into the supply are probably worth more Take yeah i mean fomo is a real thing that really does affect people which is basically fear of missing out and people really have a fear of missing out in the like if you're not there to know about that thing even if it's meaningless but if you don't understand that thing about that reference or anything like that people just felt like no how could i do this to myself oh no Remember, FOMO is real and it's very scary for most people. That's why gotcha games do so well. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, perhaps. Take this diamond banana here. It has a 1 in 100,000 drop chance. That's pretty darn good. And mm -hmm. oh my. I mean, for me, I, I, I just want my waifus. <laughs> to be fair, you know. I, I don't even look if they're strong or if they're not strong. I just care that they look nice and i want to go after my wife is you know like when i see my wife is most of the time i don't even know what their skills are but i see them and i'm like yep that's my wife there we go i'm going after that one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what a rare banana indeed. One in a hundred thousand, so there's really not that many of them. But as you can see, there's only three available on the Steam Marketplace right now. Two for around about a hundred pounds, and then one for five hundred and twenty pounds. I mean, put that into that's, a real that's an interesting marketing price though. Like, imagine someone puts it for one hundred and thirty, and the other one puts it for one hundred and forty, and then someone leaps it all the way to five hundred and twenty. Ow. Why are you bonking me? What did I do? Ow. Yeesh. I speak the truth and then people are like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> price point perspective, £520 is almost £70 more expensive than a brand new Pixel 8a smartphone. Yes, that's right, someone thinks they can sell this banana for £500. Is there a real Me. world value to this diamond banana? Yes, technically. The entire real world value to this banana is speculation. The only reason you would buy this banana is because you mm -hmm. believe that the price of the banana will go up in future and someone will buy the banana. I mean, look guys, look, what, what would, do we need? Do we need a phone or do we need a banana? Obviously, the answer is always going to be banana so you know of course you would pay more money than you would for a phone uh, this creates a, a very special bag holding situation whereby if i were to buy this banana i am hoping that someone else will come along and pick up my banana or my mm -hmm. bag and which, buy it which off bag of me for a higher a, price the, therefore i have passed <laughs> on the bag of course if this person were to open up the bag they will see inside that all they have is a useless diamond banana however the only reason they have to buy the bag off of me <laughs> is because they believe they can pass the bag on to someone else for an even higher price if mm -hmm. this all sounds familiar it's because it's basically what caused the entire cryptocurrency boom over covid now all of this well, price nonsense gets a little bit crazy when you start going to the top end of this game you have a little bit crazy or a little bit banana <laughs> well yeah like imagine someone asks you for your number and you say okay call me on my banana phone and they're all like what what does that even mean you just give me your number and they're all like yeah just call me on my banana phone it's uh, you know diamond banana you can find me there. They're all like, I still don't understand what you're saying. You have the cryptic nana. This is a very special banana because it has yeah, deliberately this is very cryptic, implied though. scarcity. Look at the cryptic nana was only given out during the cryptic nana event, and there are only 25 in existence. And when you look at that, four of them are available on the marketplace. A few of them have sold for very low levels, around about 20 pounds when the game first came out. But now they've steadily started climbing up until people recently have started buying them for 300 fucking pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse my language, but this is madness. The only reason to buy this is Menace, because there are allegedly only 25 in existence, which makes it very special indeed. Oh, there's only 25 of them. You could Ooh, own one. Only 25. Nine more for entertainingly priced speculative secondary markets. After all, I myself own several rare Magic the Gathering cards. The only difference is I can use my Magic the Gathering cards to bully noobs, whereas I can't mm -hmm. use a diamond banana for anything other than flexing my EP online and showing that, yes, I was stupid enough to buy a diamond banana. And eventually we reach a point where we have the special but golden also, banana. This is a special item apparently whatever that means and it drops in game what is special about this 
I don't know, but someone tried to sell it for £1,124 and is now up the price for £1,400. Yeah, so £1,424. They try to sell it for... I mean, if that's not special, I don't know what is, right? But uh, apparently someone is trying... Some people are trying to buy it for like 54 or lower, you know? There's a request. So people are after it as well. Mm-hmm. This item has never sold in the entire history of this game, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the person selling this item is the developer themselves. So yes, why I mean, are people sense. playing this banana-based game? Could well, get it's out everything rather simple. If, if you, developer, like me, are right? based in the UK or the US, you might see this speculative banana game where you could wait to get a rare banana that potentially you could sell for four pence on the marketplace. You could see that to be quite a special thing indeed. After all, there's the graffinana here. It's a simple graffiti banana, but hey, it's special because it doesn't drop anymore, meaning it's Wait. got a finite supply. That means that, well, people want to buy it, and there are 1,300 people willing to pay three pence to buy this bloody banana. Now, here's the thing. When you sell mm -hmm. something for free p on the Steam are market, it Steam, more. of course, takes a cut, and I would make one pence from selling this for free p Now, one p might not seem like much, because, hey, in the UK, we have a strong pound, or at least we do for the next 10 minutes, and so one pence isn't exactly a lot of purchasing oh. power. But if, perchance, you're located in one of the many other countries in the world we once upon a time invaded, then there's a good chance that making one pence of the Steam Marketplace is actually worth something, and potentially mm -hmm. goes quite a long way to buying a new game. And for the yeah, it always depends on the currency. P, well, they're banking off the that. fact that because this item does because you know, like even if Steam did change um, the currency for some uh, countries for game price wise, right? Like they switched it from the local currency to then the USD. They actually kept it lower than what it is for other people in USD. So yeah. It just depends on which country your your Steam account is in and like you're trying to buy the games and which kind of country and what the stuff is and then you know you could always like look at the exchange rate as well like what what can one pound get you in your own local currency and then you might be like oh wow that's a lot and then you're like I must sell I must buy I must buy and sell kind of situation so doesn't drop anymore it will steadily Ooh. increase in Depends price over are. time the only problem is this item has very low usability but that doesn't really solve the question why on earth are people playing this well, mm -hmm. it's very simple. This game is very easily automated and it doesn't really take up any processes on your computer. It just runs in the background and it's all about watching a number go up. Hardly the most elaborative or exciting game in the universe. It's free, it's simple, and it can be marketed as free and easy money. This craze mm -hmm. happened quite a lot during the NFT game era, whereby a lot oh. of these so-called free games would exist, where you could play them and you'd get a chance of getting a free NFT. And this free NFT would have a supposed value assigned to it. The problem is, in order to get value out of that free NFT, you would have to be able to sell it and when you've started handing mm -hmm. out items for free well they don't really have much value yeah also there's never it, it's crazy though how many people bought into that even though there was never a guarantee that you could sell it to someone else because like the prospect of being able to sell and actually selling it those are two different things you know like maybe you can do it maybe you can't it depends on how lucky you are and how unlucky you are and stuff like that that's why I like Stardew, because when you put uh, the stuff in the chest, it's for sure sells. And you for sure get money. But with other stuff, uh, you know, like, sure, you have the potential to sell it, but that doesn't mean that you're actually going to sell it. And if you don't sell it, then, uh, like, you're not going to receive anything in return for it. So then you're just, uh, you just have the thing in your hand, and then that's it. That's, that's all you have. You just have it. That's it. This game does have a slight advantage by adding supposed rarity and having the mm -hmm. rarity be slightly more challenging. For example, they've added now an anti-bot idling prevention whereby wow. you need to click once every three hours to get a drop or once every 18 hours for the rare drop. That's right. Well, well, look, look at this bot idling prevention. Wow, this is indeed a superior bot idling prevention. Like no one can bypass this with a bot for sure. <laughs> Unless, dun dun dun. Right, you need to leave this game open for about 18 hours in order to secure yeah, 18 hours a for a rare drop. This rare brings drop. us back to the reason Sheesh. why there are so many people playing this it's game. There are 153,000 people playing Banana right now, but they're not really playing it. They leave it open in the background, and once every 18 hours, they go to their computer and they click the banana. It truly is an absolutely incredible social experiment. This is a real-world human mm -hmm. version of putting mice in a cage and having them push a button to receive a reward. We are simply mice, and we push the banana, it, yeah. and there is an eventual 
promise of us getting an actual item. So I'm going to leave this game running, and I guess we're going to find out what wonderful item the what? banana overlords bestow me? upon me today. Now, whilst I've been mean? waiting for my wonderful <laughs> banana to arrive, I think it's important to say that I've done some digging. The individual Ooh. running this game is quite unique indeed. We have, of course, established that they are German. Uh, however... Huh. Huh. Doesn't that look familiar? The one in the picture. Hmm. Does he know about this? Then again, he's Robert Par Party's son. And he likes to party. Probably. Who knows? But yeah. Hmm. hmm I don't, can't quite put my finger on who that is. Hmm. My realm got stolen. Oh no. Nah, I'll be fine. I'll find a way. Don't you worry. What we should probably also establish is that they are potentially a relatively unique type of German. Now, I'm not just saying this because they have over a thousand hours on Hearts of Iron 4. I mean, come on, who doesn't? I'm mostly saying <laughs> this person has a potentially dubious profile. Uh, that maybe leans towards a certain extremist direction. Potentially because their previous usernames include such wonderful things as uh, Deportation creates living space. Yep, uh, it's one of those. So yes, oh, whilst you can play the banana game and you can sell the bananas <laughs> on the Steam marketplace, which does make Steam quite a lot of money, it will also make this developer quite a lot of money, which is well, potentially yeah. good because, hey, you'll be able to buy more Hearts of Iron 4 DLC. And Lord knows that Paradox Interactive needs all the DLC money they can get. Now, of course, as I was saying, the main reason you hypothetically buy the bananas off of the Steam marketplace is because you believe it will change the appearance of your banana. Now, the problem is the banana changing functionality doesn't exist in the game yet. No, this is mm -hmm. actually relatively early access, you see. Although it doesn't say so on Steam. What this basically means is yeah. currently when you Which buy an item off of this game store, an early off the marketplace, game, it just sits in your game. Steam mm -hmm. inventory. It has absolutely no use. It can't even be used in game. The dev has said... What the use itself is having a banana. How, how do you not see that? That is a use, you know. Having a banana is so useful in the first place, you know. Oh, never mind your life. See, I told you I would find a way. She, 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 she's trying to bring me down, but she can't bring me down. <laughs> that they will add this functionality into the game and what value this functionality will add or cost the value banana. of the banana mm -hmm, market exactly. I do not know. After all we are just clicking a PNG. But you don't even have to click the PNG. I can literally click off the end of the banana and it still kind of counts because they've just used a giant square hitbox so yeah, Unity Coding yeah. 101. This game is most definitely yes. I wonder if the giant uh, click box is like the entire box that's open itself though. To scam. Is the developer at fault for this scam game becoming so popular? No. Not at all. These scam right. games exist all over Steam. It's hardly the developer's fault that for some reason a hundred thousand people are playing it. Games like this largely exist on Steam for one very simple reason. They exist to add a large amount of achievements or items to a Steam account. This mm -hmm. can be used to artificially inflate the value of the Steam account or just secure that precious experience to level up your Steam account and make it look more fancy. The fact that the marketplace has exploded in Banana Mania is yeah, just an entertaining do secondary like event, which fancy. potentially this game's developers and friends are able to use and exploit to generate as many Steam wallet funds mm -hmm. as they can humanly enjoy. Now, one of the reasons that makes me a little bit more concerned that this is a scam is because the creator of this game has set their inventory to private when it was previously public. Hmm. Uh, this is a little bit of a problem because it means that it it is impossible to see how many bananas hitting the marketplace are actually from them, meaning it's very hard to tell just how much Steam wallet value they're able to make off of this game. Day two. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Is yeah, so basically, it could be that the developers want to keep on just putting everything on the Steam store, and they're like almost all the sellers of the developer. So if anyone ever tries to like buy something and then resell it to someone else, it's just going to be like, okay, so I'd bought it but is anyone even gonna buy it from me kind of thing about mm -hmm. it is the following day and i've left the banana game running overnight generating wealth beyond your wildest imaginations Wait. that's right with the drop system set up i was guaranteed to make a huge amount of money and so without further ado ladies i mean and say 18 hours rare drop, after so. around about 10 hours of gameplay i have generated some bananas also this game doesn't have the same feature hours, which see. means whenever you open and close the game it completely resets the number which kind of defeats the purpose of this game but oh well mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, yes, these majestic bananas are doo -doo 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 all commons. Yep, here they are. Mm -hmm. We have two music nanas, a neo nana, and a panda nana. Wow, very Meow. exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Now, 
Of course, luckily, this game's incredibly large Chinese player base is buying up the panda bananas at quite an impressive rate. The only problem is still 94,000 of them on the Steam marketplace. So even though a lot of them are selling per day, they are getting listed at a much higher rate than they're getting purchased for. And the same goes for every mm -hmm. other banana in this game, because of course, that's just how it works. Now I can try and sell this Neo Nana of mine. The only problem is the people who've listed their Neo Nana ahead of me have to wait for 5,550 of these bananas to be sold or mine even gets onto the market. I mean, that's Literally, not too as I'm bad, talking, is it? Seven more have been added. No one <laughs> is buying these bananas anymore. Oh, and look, way more have just been added as well. I think people are starting to work out that there's probably no reason to buy the bananas, and so the supply of them or is massively they? increasing. It would appear that the amount of bananas that have dropped or maybe people are just really focused on trying to get the drops themselves and then once they have enough drops in their mind that then they're gonna post even more and then they're gonna start buying the selling tomorrow who knows drop down to three pence has massively increased actually yes i think potentially we could be on the precipice of some kind of economic situation but who knows ladies and gentlemen this is a game all about being randomly dropped bananas and hoping that you can speculate on a market the only problem is you have absolutely no control over the supply so the only people who will buy your bananas are people getting scammed into buying them or if you're following the same exploit as my wonderful cucumber adventure glorious bots who try and trade off of the steam marketplace but i mean mm -hmm. this game is so well developed that it's accidentally ended up with duplicate bananas look you can have the pandanana here or the pandanana oh, no. there does it make yeah. sense no it doesn't but here we are anyway ladies and gentlemen or I maybe it's game... not a duplicate maybe this is the uh, pandanana that has a uh, slightly lighter color and this one has slightly darker color but they're still named the both uh the both are still named the same who knows who knows you know we never know we'll probably stick around for a few more weeks until eventually people realize that the electricity you spend running this game ultimately costs far more than you'll ever actually make off of selling bananas but then again, what do I know? Maybe the developer- Yeah, but keyword is a few weeks. So basically he is predicting that a lot of people are still gonna go on this for like a few months at least or something before they actually all stop it. And even like the bots stop it. Or maybe then the bots will just be left. But you know, bots, if they see a potential of gold mine, they will just keep on infesting no matter what. So who's to say, you know, maybe People will assume that they're the actual players, and even though everyone's bots, it's they'll still think it is a players, and then they'll try to get in on it themselves and try their luck to selling bananas. Who knows? of the wonderful Lashish Schlieden will somehow pull it out the bag and on their second game add an incredible quantity of gameplay features that makes the banana a tangible item that you would want to use. Kind of like mm -hmm. a CSGO weapon skin maybe. Who knows what the future has in store for the banana game. Who knows? Either way, I think this is the end of my journey with the banana game. In fact, maybe, I'm maybe so we'll get a I'm strawberry just going to uninstall Next. it from my PC. Now I can go or and an play apple. a real free video game, which is also all about making money. I'm of course talking about open TTD. Yep, it's free, it's great, and you can make money in it. And yes, the money does stay entirely within mm -hmm. the video game world, but that's how I like it. Thanks for coming oh, yeah. along and watching today's exploit it's video. Good to if you make want to money. see more wonderful Steam exploits, maybe YouTube exploits, or even just video game maybe. exploits, then why not consider subscribing? Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye for now. Yes, thank you very much for the video, though. Spiffing Brit, indeed, indeed. But yeah, that was... Uh, video by Spiffing Brit about the banana and all that. So I will also put the link when I put this video up on YouTube as well. So you know, I you can always check it out for yourself as well. The banana can't be stopped, indeed. So let's check just how unstoppable this banana is, shall we? So let's see. Right now, um, it has it's it's still very positive. Okay. According to the recent reviews, it's still very positive. It has like 24,333 recent reviews, and all reviews are a total 26,519. I'll also put it on the screen as well. <laughs> Later on when I edit the video. But yeah, like th this is still very positive for this game and all that. So it's still going quite strong. And like I said, the tags include psychological horror, horror free to play clicker, like which is why it showed up in like my recommendations when I was looking through uh, games to play on Steam because like 
sometimes I play horror games. Because, you know, my chat likes to make me suffer. Or sometimes I just get a wind of, oh, I can totally play a horror game. And then I decide to and stuff like that. So then Steam just tries to recommend me horror games, even though I'm not the best at them <laughs> or anything. But it's still going quite strong and stuff. So I think this uh, the banana is still going to be up for a while, perhaps. When the next horror game? Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I, maybe I should start playing Banana since it's, uh, <laughs> you know, since it has the tag of horror. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, now it has like nine pages. So that means more bananas were added. But man, the price of the bananas have indeed some, some are still like, uh, not too much. Some ha are insane. Like the price for this one is very interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I'll put up a screenshot later for you guys to see which one I'm talking about as well. But basically, that was the banana. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of there's still a lot of positive uh, reviews and stuff. So I think people that are unaware of what uh, the banana game is truly about uh, will keep it alive or and or. There's just going to be a lot of bots flooded in and stuff like that. But I don't think anyone can, like, will be able to put it to, like, a negative or a mix at this rate. Because, like I said, it's still very positive, the reviews. So, yeah, just be wary of games sometimes, you know. Sometimes they try to get you with the free-to-play games. And then you play the game and you're like, oh, this is free-to-play, right? And then you're like, la 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 But then, wham, they hit you with something. And then you're like, ah, oh, what happened? A black dog. What? What's what's this place? What's this, what's up with all these banana shenanigans, or something else? You know, it might be banana, it might be something else. You never know. That's why you always gotta be careful and make up your own mind about stuff and all that. You know. Basically, the reason why we react to this is just always be wary. If something is too good to be true, it might be. Also, just because it says that a lot of people have listed a lot of stuff doesn't mean that it's gonna sell on Steam. Like sometimes I try to sell. Uh, the cars I get from actual legit games on Steam, right? I put it on the marketplace, but that doesn't mean it will for s sure sell or anything. You know, and even if they do sell, it's for a little bit of money. But, you know, the little bit of money can always snowball into, like, uh, able to buy a $2 worth game eventually. You know, you never know. Like, consider a little bit to actually play the banana game to, like, maybe... Uh, get it for myself, but then I was like, yeah, nah, probably no one will ever buy it anyways. <laughs> and I won't be able to <laughs> buy an actual, uh, or a different kind of game from my banana money, sadly, sadly. So, oh well. Because there's way too many listings. You know, like, who's gonna eventually find you with all those listings and then I actually give you, like, even if it's uh, three pence, like what he said, or like three cents, right, or something like that, right? Like, who's gonna find you to give it to you eventually. But no, I, w I won't play that game. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Just always be mindful of what you get yourself into. And maybe sometimes it's not worth it. You know? Also, 18 hours for a rare drop. That's a lot of time. Like, sure, you don't have to really do much yourself. You can just leave it up in the background. But, like, 18 hours. Sheesh, man. Sheesh. You gotta let your computer rest somehow, eventually. Exactly. And that's what you should say to the banana game. Sheesh, and I'm out. <laughs> no rest, only work for PC. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sure, 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 sure. Just let your PC rest, though, Zash. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs>